Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a somewhat overcrowded but very well intentioned episode of Ted's Booze Cellar here with me, your most gracious host Ted. Welcome to the Premier Alcohol Review Show here on YouTube. Today I've got, I think, the largest range and largest number of guests in any single guest episode ever, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six. So the only two that have ever been on here before is Luca at the back in the middle there and Ben here with the funky jacket. But <laughs> for the other four people here though, why don't you just really quickly introduce yourselves and your taste in alcohol. I'm Ellie and I really like gins, particularly pink gins. Yeah, I did get you a, what was it, a sort of apparel spritz for your birthday as well. I, I don't remember. Yeah, you were pretty... I was very drunk. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. The young gentleman with the glasses. Hello, I'm Isaac. I got that name when I was born. Um, <laughs> usually, like, usually beer, or like ale, IPA, but rum, whenever I do drink spirits, it's usually rum. I'm Kate, and I like beer as well. There we go. And then lastly... Hello, I'm <laughs> Lois. I like... Most alcohol, <laughs> particularly rum and vodka and wine and beer, just okay. not gin. Okay, so just everything oh. except gin. Then, everything basically. except gin. I don't know how this is going to turn out then because I've picked something that might not necessarily fit in with anyone's tastes here. So I got from the local off license for sixteen ninety nine this very pleasant looking bottle of Jägermeister. Anyone who obviously knows their way around the party scene and drinking spirits will have obviously seen this stuff before it's, it's the most popular drink of its type around the world so it's essentially a German liqueur based off of herbal elixir and it's kind of feels a bit medicinal but it's also like mixed with obviously like Red Bull for like Jaeger bombs and stuff like that but first of all I do really like the colour of the glass and it's a very classic iconic design for the glass and the bottle so I'll give it like a, an 8 out of 10 because I think it could be a bit more striking but what do you think? I think on this particular bowl, I think the fact, obviously this isn't your fault, but the fact that it's got the price on it. That is true, yeah. does take away from the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the overall aesthetic. That's but, why um, I'm docking a point, yeah. I like, I like, I like it, the yoga bowl. It's comforting. Mm. It's, it's recognisable. It's got And I've had one thrown at me at a gig before. Yeah, it does look like a medicine bowl. It's chunky as well. Yeah. Reminds me of my corsadil. Nelly, what do you think? Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> I like it. I like the fact there's a deer on the logo. I like the green, I like again the chunky bottle, and I think it's a good shot. So what would you rate it out of 10? 8.5. That's fair, wow. Like Is that high for you? I don't think rate. I actually rate, I rate it, I would have said about an 8. I like yeah. the fact that it's got the Jägermeister mm. on the side as well. Again, I would agree, I don't like them. that. Okay. It's got a blurb. Well, pass it to Lois, what do you think? Oh, Lois. Um, I like it. I'd actually give it a 10 for really? aesthetic. Really? Well, it's my two favourite colours, orange and green. Wow. So, I'm loving it. Hmm. Not a fan of that cross. Or the deer. I like mm. the deer. You oh. like the deer. I don't really get the logo. I don't get what it's trying to do. Well, Jaeger is German for hunter. Yeah. yeah. So, you can hunt oh, deer. Yeah. 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 So okay. smart. Jaegermeister is master hunter in German. What's the oh, cross for? Because wow. uh, it used to be medicinal. And crosses sounded like it. Yeah. I agree with everyone's points. Yep, I would definitely take a point off for the price, but I do like the size of the bottle and mm. the colours and the little gold leaves. So I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay, Luca. Solid eight. Pass that to you. It is a really, really nice bottle. It almost does look too much like a medicine bottle. Mm. Um, See, I like that. Mm. I like the you know, I, I, I'd give the bottle like a yeah, an eight, eight point yeah. five. It's pretty nice. Okay, yeah. Isaac, what do you think? It's green. <laughs> Amazing. Eight point nine seven out of ten. No, seriously, like everyone's at the same points. They're like the gold, like laurels, like leaves or whatever. <laughs> Don't know what that is, but it looks sick. Okay, can't, can't. It, genuine eight out of ten for the bottle design. I just want you to open it and sort of each of you sniff it one at a time really quickly and give me your quick rating out of ten. So okay. Ellie, if you start us off and then pass it round like clockwise and then back to me and then uh, give um, me your rating out of ten for the nose. It's giving like a licorice vibe. Mm. I don't hate it. We'll do seven out of ten. Okay, so oh. Ben, really quickly, what's your opinion on the nose? Uh, yeah, licorice medicinal, but it smells thick. I get that. I know yeah. what you mean. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. yeah. What's your yeah. rating? Uh, I, I quite like Jaeger, so like nine for me. Wow. Yeah, I really like Jaeger. Honestly. After giving it a quick sniffer, I think probably the a nose sniffer. is. Yeah, it's kind of like what Ben said, where it's kind of like a Jägermeister smell, but it's 
it does have that bit of a medicinal afternose, and it's just kind of a bit strange. (laughs) Listen, this is my show. You can sort of laugh at me all you want. But I'll give the rating of the nose, I would say, a 7 out of 10. What do you think, Lois? See, I love it. I just love it. Oh, it's so good. It just reminds me of naughty times as well. So what would you rate it out of 10? 10. So, Kate, what's your opinion on the nose? So, I would give it... Just an egg. It looks bad. I'm going to give it an 8. There you go. 8.5 because that's splash around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Luke, it smells like medicine. It's quite good old guy. It's amazing. I don't know if I've had a egg before. Give it like a 5. Interesting. I'm not a big drinker. So, Isaac, what do you think? So, this is where I actually have strong opinions on the egg whites that I don't particularly like it that much. Definitely smells thick. It's like cough syrup. I'll give it a 4 out of 10 on the spot. So, I think that's a roundabout way of saying it's probably got a mean average of about 6 to 8 out of 10. The basement sort of like ranking of like four out of ten for Isaac. Okay, so guys, whenever you're ready, yeah, in things. three, two, one, bottoms off. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. <laughs> Another one, please, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <Disgusting. laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it doesn't look like it settled very well with it. It's um, I've got to say, I like the aftertaste, but the mm. texture really fires up. Syrup. It's syrupy. But it's so syrupy. It, it's so syrupy. But it's but it's to the extent that it does cause some oh, sensation of heartburn inevitably. So I'm not. Is heartburn to Yeah. That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. That's literally the best way to describe yeah, it. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. It's the, yeah, exactly. Actually, that's the perfect way of describing it from what Elise said. It's like a black licorice to with like a really oak, bittery, fiery aftertaste, kind of similar to like a Scott Oaky. almost. Yeah. What did you guys think? <laughs> Fire. Terrible. Yeah, this is your first fire fire. Awful. Yeah. Not my favourite. Not as awful as I remember. I wish we had a red book. What are your numerical <laughs> ratings, would you say, out of 10? Is this just for taste or would you like overall just experience? Just I think not the Jager Meister. Taste and yeah. overall experience in one, really. So, so that's 10. Not to go behind the curtains, but there is a Hungarian one, and I know I seem like that's my thing on this channel, called Unicum, which I you think is a better. Which is a better. But what about yeah, this? Be yeah, with Hungarian. that in mind. Get to the point. I'd say this is an 8. I'm going to say an 8.7. 9.5. Bloody hell. I'm not giving it 10. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I'm thinking I'd yeah. rather have tracker oh, over this. 6.75. What, bitch? Not fair enough for you. 0.4! 0.4! What was the point for? You could run it down to zero. Like, it's not poison. It tastes like poison that would kill you. Something not being poison is poison. But it's not poison that would kill you. So give us like a 0.4. I would think that just generally speaking, you're not going to get that much of a taste. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be I would think, generally speaking, I can see why people like it, but I think there are drinks that meet the individual aspects of this drink more sufficiently so I'm gonna give it like a six and a half I think again thank you to you guys for being on here today as chaotic as this video was thank you for our live studio audience and thank you to the hostess of the party tonight as well and I want to say to everyone at home thank you for watching if you like this video leave a like share and subscribe if you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Booster leave them in the comment section down below and if you want to check out my social medias, I'll leave those in the video description down below. Turn on notifications as well. Until next time, <laughs> and next, until next time stay button safe. Button. Don't do anything Smash we wouldn't do. Fuck it, like fun. Excuse me. Yeah. No swearing, please. Oh yeah, um, no swearing. I'm giving the well-meaning outro. So <laughs> drink responsibly. Know your limits. And we'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze. See you next time, guys. Woo! Woo!